Sir James Dyson, thanks for joining us today on the launch of your new hair dryer. I really appreciate it. Good. Well, thank you for coming along tonight. And it's a great to have the opportunity to show it to you. Absolutely. You know, take us through the development process. How did you wake up one day and say, hey, I want to reinvent the hair dryer? Well, we're, um, we've developed high speed electric motors. And we knew that we could make a very quiet motor and a very small and very light motor. And a hair dryer you hold above your head. So you want something that's quiet, you want something that's light and you want something that's very efficient and doesn't damage your hair. So we knew we had the technology to do that, so we went about the process of developing it. Two things really stood out to me. You know, did you drop it in a bucket of water at, for a test? So is this thing waterproof and then secondarily, it's so silent. Well, the first thing is please don't do that yourself. <laughs> um, but the point we're making is that uh, electronics doesn't like water. So we've manufactured especially so you can pour water all over it. And people do have hair dryers near the sink or near the bath. So if you accidentally drop it in, you won't damage it. But please don't do it on purpose. Oh, fair enough, I won't try it. You know, should guys be using this too? I mean, I, I think guys, their hair gets damaged, they use a lot of product. I think this would benefit them instead of using, let's say, a, hair, a towel. Well, I use it. <laughs> uh, and interestingly, we've been selling it in Japan for a few weeks. And 60% of our purchases are male. I think some of them are buying it as presents for their wives and girlfriends. And uh, the Japanese males have very interesting hairstyles. Probably more interesting than Japanese females. <laughs> That's true. You know, it's not, no, it's not so often you, I mean, you do, don't do a lot of interviews. So I have to ask, noted engineer, what do you think about technology right now? Has technology peaked? I mean, we've so many small iterations to phones, to watches, but not a lot of breakthrough stuff lately, like the, like the hair dryer. Well, I think technology has just started. And what's interesting is we apply what's called tech, so Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, electronics, and software. We're combining it with uh, hardware development. And if you do the two in parallel, you get something very, very, very powerful. And we're just at the beginning of this. It's a very exciting period now. So we're employing lots of people to do vision systems, vision robotics, uh, interpreting pictures, understanding where people are, what their temperature is. And so it's a very, very exciting time now. And there's a lot of software and algorithms and artificial intelligence, even in a hairdryer. Your son is involved, I have Jake in Dyson. He invented a new light. Can you tell us anything about that? Why did he, why did he choose the light? Uh, he just chose lighting. I mean, that was a particular thing that he was interested in. And he's very interested in the circadian rhythm and having LEDs that are properly cool. People are gaily using LEDs, not realizing that they deteriorate unless they're cool. Uh, so he's been developing cooling technology for LEDs. And so his lights will last 37 years without dimming and without losing their color. And lastly, uh, what advice would you give? Uh, you founded Dice, I believe, in 1983, a million dollars. You went, you bootstrapped, you went to the banks. What advice would you give to people trying to start a business today, a startup or a, a young 25-year-old? Well, I mean, the, the, I mean, I started my business in a recession. Uh, there's not a recession now, and there's a lot of angel investors and a lot of venture capital around. So. If you've got a good idea, particularly a good technology idea, then I think you can get the money and just have great determination, as most young entrepreneurs have. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Good luck with this. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Thank you very much for coming along tonight.